Hello everyone, my name's Jack and welcome back to my video. Today we are taking a look at the Star Wars B-Wing by Perfect Space Industries, or Perfect Blinky as he's known on Steam. But before we get down to this amazing ship, I have a thing to say about my channel. I would like to thank everyone for helping me reach 900 subscribers. We're currently sitting on 926 and expected to break 1000 by next week, I hopefully. This time next week, hopefully we'll hit a thousand and I'll be giving away a copy of Space Engineers. So make sure you're subscribed because then you or your friend could win a copy of Space Engineers and go tell everyone else about it as well. But, back to this video, because that's what it's all about, we have the Star Wars B-Wing, seen in the latest season of Star Wars Rebels, as well as in the return of a Jedi film, and obviously all of the uh, Legends, that's what it's called now. And I've just knocked something over my desk, in an attempt to throw away the phone. So, let's get down to this. Now, this is made by Perfect Blinky, he is responsible for such marvels on the workshop as this great ship over here. Look at that, that's the... Corellian uh, C20 frigate, I believe, as I'm just going to open my options and turn down the audio ever so slightly. There we go. The jetpack gets loud now. And he's also created TIE fighters as well, and we've got two TIE uh, LNs over sitting over here, I believe they're called that. Uh, these aren't as good as the um, other versions, I would argue, but they're good. They are good. Don't know why I got to draw it. But yeah, moving onwards, we've got to get down to the actual ship. Now, this B-Wing is on a one-to-one -one scale, and I'm about to crash into it. So before we take a look around, I'll read you a little bit of a description. In the description it says, Welcome back to the new series of Star Wars sh uh, Ready for Planets and Atmosphere. So these ships are ready for pla planets and the atmosphere, which this ship can fly in the atmosphere as well as space. Amazing. The B-Wing is controlled from remote blocks, and the two rotations are set as two different ones in your toolbar. If you cannot figure it out, check the video stream I did with it. To see what this ship has for you, check out my, on my personal YouTube channel. I'll give a link to it in the description. For a world file, please give him some time to finish the Rebel Fleet. So, if you want a uh, world file, you're going to have to wait a while until he finishes the entire Rebel Fleet, so you can get down to that one. Uh, that's all he's kind of said, and so far on the workshop has received really good reviews. So, let's get down to this. So, first off, let's actually go and get in the cockpit over here. No, actually, before we do that, let's take a look around the ship. So, we've got the two remote blocks here, and I'll explain how they work later, because it's kind of weird funky. So obviously we've got two wings for the B-Wing here, they will fold up by the use of a rotor, I believe, back here. Yep, they'll fold up. But there's a little hydrogen thrusters as well, to operate in space, as well as um, planets. Two Gatlins there, two Gatlins there, and of course those two Gatlins over there will fold out. Going around here, we've got an antenna and a rocket launcher. That's something like the ion torpedo things they do in Star Wars. I can't remember, proton torpedo, that's what it is. Cargo container there for loading all of those weapons. Going around again, we've got this bit of a design on there. Uh, the other wings underneath. We've got some atmo thrusters around here as well as the hydrogen thrusters to propel the ship forward. And we've got a uh, conveyor block there and cargo containers there which you can reach into to grab other stuff. Moving around the back we've got some air vents. I just crashed into the floor with a giant cargo container this time. With a rotor and a hinge. It's not a hinge, sorry, a rotor connector. Is it just a rotor isn't it? Yes it is. I forgot what I was on about for a minute. Honestly I've checked out so many ships today. Anyway, let's get in there. So let's power it on, and we've managed to balance ourselves out now. So when the ship's in standby mode, or like not in combat mode, it flies like this. So we need to select control remote 1 to get it up in the air. Now, the ship won't actually lift off like this, because there's not enough thrust to put upwards. So instead, basically in a minute, we have to make sure uh, it's folded out. So what we do is we're going to have to make a little bit of a kamikaze mover, maneuver to get it out here, hoping we're not going to crash it. We're going to come out of this autopilot, connect to this one, so now we have control of that. Uh, we need to then flip the cockpit around, no that's the wrong one. So we've retracted the wings and rotated the cockpit around, so you see it rotates there. We're rotating and the wings popped out as well. And now we have control, and this is what the B-Wing looks like. If I can come out of my cinema my cockpit for you a minute. I think I'm stuck in it actually. I fired a torpedo and see we've got the Gatling guns there. Now I've yet to test this with a Star Wars weapon mod. Hey we're going a bit fast for the ship. Let's pull up. And my microphone's in my way of my face so I can't actually see anything. Now that is just majestic. This looks like a very accurate representation 
of a B-Wing. Look at that, it's brilliant. And obviously we can come back around. Now the weapon ar armament... Uh, 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 the weapon armament on this, I've said that word wrong twice now, I'm not going to attempt another version of it. It's quite good. We've got these Gatling guns, which can cause some damage, because we've got four of them, that can. And we've got a torpedo as well. So what we're going to do is going to do a little strafing run back on our base over here and see what we can target. I'm hoping to kind of make this... Because you guys always ask me to break things in these things, in these recordings, so hopefully this ship is going to fall off there in a minute. And you guys are going to like that. So let's follow along targeting a few stuff, and I think I just hit a TIE Fighter. Now one thing I don't like about a ship is how the weapons are so spread out. I prefer weapons concentrated in in the middle, but that's my personal preference really, rather than anything else. Oh, let's hope we don't clip the corner of the ship there. That was close. That was really close. Now we're just drifting around. So let's we'll take this around here. What we're going to do is holding this Corellian frigate up is the good old landing pad here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sneak down and we're... I hope we look... Yep, there we go. Nope, we've gone down too low. I think we're targeting that. Can we use the Gatlins? No, we can't. That's hopefully that's the one thing I don't like about a ship. Like augmenting the like rocket launcher to the right angle is really hard. But the B-wings were originally made as bombers, so it's kind of like strafing one on a big target rather than targeting small things like this little bridge. So anyway, you guys are going to enjoy this because in every video I do, you ask me to break someone else's build, and there we go. This is now going to fall down. Look at that, it's going down, it's going to crash and lag the game horribly. There we go, it's crashed and, whoa, the FPS is not actually changing, whoa, that has destroyed a massive amount of that ship. See, this is what you guys want me to do every time. People make the t take the time to create these builds and you guys want me to break them. Look at that, pure chaos. I love it. So, while that's crashing off down there, I just watch it for a few more seconds. I'll let it come to rest. Now I wonder if we can take out the other landing pad around here is what I was going to do. So let's move around here. And I think the ship's finally set like a resting space on the ground now. Come oh, on, destroy the landing thing. This is a base I designed ages ago for um, actually using planet side stuff. And literally every minute it's just been used to destroy stuff because that's what everybody wants me to do. Come on, let's blast through. Now there's. I think I might have the vanilla weapons rebalance on here, hence why this is kind of taking a bit longer. Because I have loads of mods on this world here, so it may alter the way some of these weapons work. But one thing I was thinking is, with the latest release of the Star Wars weapons mod by Razor Tech, I believe, that is his name. What we could, or what the author could do if you wanted a modded version, or you guys can do it as well, is put those weapons on this ship, because it came with a rebel laser, so you can include, or there goes those TIE fighters, you can include a rebel laser on it. end of those TIE Fighters, that one's gonna go down. There you go, it's going, it's going. It's gone, it's rolling down there. It's rolling. Oh, the other TIE Fighter's chasing it. I, lo I love this, this is pure chaos. Look at that, that's amazing. There we go. And, well, I guess that's kind of it for the B-Wing Starfighter Showcase. We've showed you the fighter. I've proceeded to blow it up a little bit more. I've deleted my um, control interface thing, and I've selected the wrong one now. But the question is for this fighter, can we land it? Can we land it where it originally was? Because if you guys watch my videos, 
You know, I can't land things with, to save my life. Oh no, no, it's already going wrong. One feature I forgot to show off was number 9 over here, which is a hydrogen boost. You can use that to massively boost the hydrogen engines. Oh, it's gonna... Oh, that was close. Oh, and that was a bad miss. There we go, we've landed it successfully. And that was the, the B-Wing Starfighter from Star Wars via Perfect Space Industries, or Perfect Blinky as he's called on Steam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and once again, thank you for 900 subscribers. It has truly been amazing, and I trying to really need to think of things to do next to be honest because let me know what you guys want to do next i did promise a star wars fleet battle but that's proving more difficult to actually make than i thought it would be but you know that's how, how stuff works yeah like i said thanks for watching leave a like rating tell me if you enjoyed this fighter it's amazing uh the next video i was thinking of doing was a like i said star wars fleet battle if i can if not it'll be something random off a workshop thanks for watching goodbye